What's up you guys, it's Susan Morad right back here with Clever News and after an overwhelming amount of backlash, Ryan Dorsey posted a tearful video addressing reports that he and Naya Rivera's sister are living together for the sake of his son. As Naya Rivera's family and loved ones continue to grieve her sudden death following a tragic boating accident back in July, reports surfaced on Monday claiming that Ryan Dorsey and Naya's younger sister, Nikayla Rivera, were moving in together for the sake of his and Naya's four-year-old son, Josie. The speculation arose after photographs surfaced of Ryan and Nikayla allegedly holding hands while shopping at Target and walking to and from the new home they plan to raise Josie in. This caused a swarm of backlash and harsh reactions from fans, 99% of who don't even know the Rivera family, who is already doing their best to deal with this new heartbreaking normal. The hateful comments and blatant judgment have caused so much uproar that Nikayla responded in an Instagram story simply saying that she's choosing to show compassion, no judgment, and to never take a moment of life for granted. And just yesterday, Ryan addressed the nonsense reports in a rare and tearful Instagram video. He shared the 12 minute video to Instagram with the caption, it's not always black and white, and started off by revealing that he hasn't kept up with the media coverage since Naya's accidental drowning. He said, quote, I usually don't read comments on my own stuff because I know how there can be 50 good things said and five negative ones. Somehow as humans, we get those five negative ones stuck in our heads, wondering how people could say certain things. Ryan continued to speak out on the hate his family received as he appeared to be astounded by the way people have reacted. He said, it's truly sad that this is the world that we live in, where people were raised to think it's okay to just spew hatred in general. Especially to make statements about a family who are dealing with a tragedy that I hope it's so unimaginable that um, you or anyone that is close to you ever has to go through. As for him and Naya's son, Josie, Ryan said, quote, he's a sweet, smart, caring, sweetest soul of a young man who at the age of five is having to grow up so fast and grow up like so many of us didn't have to. He also reflected on how lucky he was to have grown up with a mother, adding, I think about how he won't have the same opportunity in his future. It makes me beyond sad. I ask myself why? What did he do to deserve this? I know he didn't do anything to deserve this, but the things people have said are sad. While the entire family was searching for Naya, Ryan revealed that Josie hoped and prayed his mum to be found, saying, The reality hits you and the grieving can start, but the sadness gets heavier because you know you're going to have to have conversation one-on-one -on -one with a little boy and tell him about our new reality. And then I have to tell him, oh, she's an angel now and she's with God and she's in heaven and he says well oh, I want to go there how do I get there Ryan added I wouldn't wish that upon any of your ears to have to hear those words come out of the sweetest soul you know he also revealed that he's lost over 20 pounds since Naya's death and that he is in a constant state of sadness but what made matters worse this week was receiving such hate following reports that he and Naya's sister, Nikayla, were now living together. Ryan had nothing but kind words to say for Naya's younger sister, adding that she has completely changed her life around and sacrificed things for the quote, betterment of your child so when you put your child to bed, you don't always have to be alone with your thoughts. In fact, Ryan revealed that Josie specifically asked for his Titi to live with them, adding that Josie said, I want Titi to live with us forever, as this is now the closest thing he has to a mom and a complete family. As for the living situation, Ryan claimed that it's only temporary and that especially after all he's been through, he'd never want to deny his son his only wish. Ryan also addressed rumors of a relationship between he and Nikayla, calling it an absurd narrative created by tabloids and saying, quote, it, man, I wish I was worried about a relationship right now not thinking about this and living with this every day. Ryan ended his statement by hoping that this video makes people quote, think twice before they go insert their opinion and jump to conclusions. Think about sending people DMs wishing death upon strangers who are dealing with so much that they know absolutely zero about. It seems fans have finally come to understand that such judgment is only hurting this already beat down family even more, as many fans are now sharing words of encouragement. One user commented on Ryan's video saying, No one knows what you, your son, and the rest of the family is going through. And no one has a right to judge. Everybody grow the F up and let them grieve and heal. Another fan wrote, I'm sorry you even have to address this. You shouldn't have to. No one should judge or assume. And this person said, It feels gross seeing the tabloids yesterday. I felt wrong for even looking. 
It's just all wrong. I'm sorry. This is not something you should be dealing with right now. At this time, feel free to share some love and words of encouragement to Ryan, Josie and the Rivera family, as they are all just doing the best they can and doing what's best for the sake of little Josie. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.